Hi, um, ignore my raspy-ish voice. I'm sick, um, but I wanted to make this video for a long time, and I have it, um, but I want to do it now because when I get anxious, um, the one thing I want is to have somebody there that understands, and a lot of people in my life don't, and I don't blame them for not understanding. Because it's hard to explain, because sometimes I don't even understand anxiety and depression myself, like my own anxiety and depression. So it's hard to have other people understand, but yeah, that's, that's what you want. That's the goal, is to have people understand what you're going through, and not have sympathy, but have empathy, like understand. So here are some frequently asked questions or frequent things that we are told um, having anxiety and depression. Not just like people tell me, but people like me are, are told and asked. Um, first thing I have written down is to just calm down or relax. Um, telling us this is kind of making it worse in a way because we want to be calm and we want to be normal, which, not saying that we're not, but we want to not freak out over things or, you know, we don't want to have a breakdown or anxiety attack it's, or panic attack. It's not fun. Um, and we can't calm down. We can't just all of a sudden, you know, put our minds at ease in, you know, a second's time. It takes a while for us to calm ourselves down in our own way. So... It, that's, if that makes sense. Um, next thing. <gasps> Hiccup. Um, you've been fine all day. Um, I get told this a lot, and I understand, because I hide my anxiety from a lot of people. And my depression. Um, I usually have anxiety attacks away from people. I don't like having them around people. If I feel one coming on, I flee from wherever I'm at, so I'll go to the bathroom or go somewhere away from people. Same thing with my depression and like breakdowns and stuff. I will try to stay away from people when I have these types of things. So when you do see me, you know, I am usually calm, calm down from my anxiety attack or my breakdown. So I seem fine, but you never know what other people are going through and through closed doors. Um, hopefully I'm making sense. I don't know. Um, sorry for if I um, stutter or anything like that. I'm trying not to. But uh, I don't know. Anxiety, man. Um, another one is just be happy. Um, Pebbles, what are you doing with your life? Um, I, I get that a lot that, that a lot from people because it's just like just go out and be happy and it, it's like I want to but there's a barrier that's very very hard to get through that you know with me at least I need help to get through whether it be therapy whatever um, I struggle a lot with my anxiety and my depression. Um, I barely leave the house. I have a job that is only about two, three hours. And I sometimes am terrified to go. Um, and it's not the people there, it's me. It's me thinking that everybody there hates me or, you know, fearing what's what could happen um, fearing the worst, and j just, if we could just, f if we could flip a switch and be happy, me when I say we, I mean, you know, people with anxiety and depression, um, we would, we would flip that switch in an instant, I know I would, um, but, excuse me, pebbles, but we can't, and... It's a big barrier. Um, some are worse than others. 
and it, for, at least for me, it's hard to leave the house every day. It's really hard because you fear the stupidest things and you know it's stupid, but you still fear them and you, it still terrifies you. Um, to the point where I feel like I should just never leave my house, which is not healthy and it's not something that I want to do and not something I should do, but it, anxiety makes you feel that way. Anyways, moving on. Whew. I... You look, you look happy, or you look happy, um, or you look fine. Um, like I, like the previous thing, um, most people have their anxiety attacks or whatever, or breakdowns or, you know, bad times. They stay away from people when those happen because you want to be alone. Um, because you fear that, at least I fear that, People who see the worst are just gonna up and leave my life. Um, it's a big fear of mine, and that makes me makes it really hard to open up to people and explain my feelings. And if I do open up to you, it took a lot. It took a lot. Um, a lot of me coaxing myself to to do it. Um, so there's that. Um, and this one is about anxiety, it's just, it's just, just be logical, um, like, when you're fearing something, you're having a panic attack over something, if someone's saying, you know, you're not thinking clearly, well, duh, I'm not thinking clearly, anxiety sometimes puts your brain in a fog, and you can't think clearly, that's kind of the point of it. Like, it's hard to think logically and, you know, be like, oh, this is nothing to be afraid of. It's hard, um, sometimes, so that's kind of obvious. Like, no, I'm not thinking clearly, but I can't help it, you know? So, I, I really hope I'm making sense. I know I said that before, but I'm trying. Um, um, why, why are you so freaked out? That's not, like, that's not something that necessarily makes it worse. I mean, sometimes it could. But, like, asking them, like, why are you so freaked out about this? It's like, we don't, most of the time we don't know why we're so freaked out over it. Um, and we want to feel normality. Pebbles! Jesus! We want to feel normality and, you know, feel like we're normal. But... You know, we we have a hard time, especially me, like, not especially me, but like, like saying from my point of view, like, as I, I want to be, I want to be normal, like, I don't want to fear things so to the point where my dogs are just trying to ruin this video, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, this is so hard to like talk about because like without like a script or anything. I mean I have like questions right now but <coughs> um anyways where was I what was I doing? I don't know, who knows? Hello. Um uh I'll just skip into the next question then because I don't even remember where I was at. Um just do something fun and forget about it. Um, when we are in our slump or whatever, it's really hard to get up and do something. You just want to curl in a ball and just be away from society. <coughs> well, at least I do. I'm not spe I, I can't speak for everybody, but um, I just want to curl in a ball and be away from people. And yeah, like it's hard to motivate myself to do things when I feel this way. Uh, okay, I'm not using all of these because this video is getting long. I'm going to just do one more. Um, it's not necessarily a thing, what they say, but guilt tripping is a, 
a, what a lot of us go through. Um, people guilt tripping, tripping us. Um, not on purpose necessarily, but making us feel bad for how we feel. Like, you know, being like, I thought I made you happy, or I thought this made you happy. It, it does, but... How do, I, how do I put this in words? Um, it's kind of like the weather. Like, you never know what it's going to be. Like, of course you can predict it. And you can try to manage it. But there's always going to be a storm. Even if, you know, it was beautiful outside ten minutes ago, there could always be a chance of a storm. That's kind of how I would put it. Um, like, that's kind of how our minds are set. Like, we could have a wonderful day, and then all of a sudden just feel so horrible, and just be in the worst mood, or have an anxiety attack right away, or just start crying for no reason and not know why. Um, so don't make us feel bad about it, because we already feel bad about it already. Because we don't want to feel this way, and half of the time we don't know why we're feeling this way, we just are. Um, and it's really hard to understand. I, I know that. It's really hard to explain, but hopefully I kind of got the gist of it and uh, explained it to you well. Um, I'm going to go now and continue resting until I work tomorrow. Um, and hopefully my voice recovers by then, but I doubt it. Yeah. Bye. See you guys next time.